Hi, my name's Andrew. I'm building a 12 and a half meter catamaran. Um, it's homemade. It's right here behind me. And I just wanted to go over some of the tools that I use for this project. Um, so this is pretty, all pretty standard tools. Uh, nothing too complicated here. You can see I, it's a bit of a theme. I like the, the blue Bosch tools. Um, they are pretty high quality and work really well. They last a really long time. Um, so yeah, what do I use? So the first up, yeah, to make simple cuts. Circular saw, always good to make nice straight or like very gentle curved cuts. Um, and it cuts through this uh, PVC foam fiberglass panels, composite panels that I have here pretty well. Um, another really useful one is this oscillating multi-tool. You can see I've even used it enough that I've damaged the blade a little bit here, so it's time to get a new one. Um, this is really good for like trimming the edges of panels or making small little cuts to maybe have bad access, or you can even hook up a little sander here to do some sanding in, in hard places. Um, so that's really useful. Another tool I have here is a sander. I have several. Uh, this is one of the smaller ones, um, but usually I have it hooked up to a, a shop vac as well to control dust. Um, and that's obviously boat building is 90% sanding, so I'm very used to having my sanders. You can see this, this one's already quite a bit dusty uh, from some recent sanding that I've done, so that's always, uh, always a fun task. Another one I have here is just a jigsaw, so similar to the circular saw here, but this is better at making sort of smaller cuts or cut with a tight curve. And one thing that's been really helpful is I got this special uh, Bosch composite um, blade that's designed for cutting composite panels. So that cuts really well, which is quite nice. Um, it can also cut wood as well, which is useful. Um, standard drill for when I'm building, especially like the form that the hull, the, the hull underneath parts uh, were built over. That drill obviously comes in handy, or if you're kind of temporarily tacking things in with a little bit of wood, um, tying them together. Drill is always nice to have. Um, clamps. You can never have enough clamps. Um, yeah, I have clamps all over the boat, and I'm always scrambling around looking for more because you know when you're gluing stuff together, you need a clamp a lot as well. Um, what else do we have here? This one's quite nice. This is a digital measurer, so you can hold it up here. I can measure how far things are away from me. So. 2.4 meters away is the camera. That's one meter away from the one meter away from the boat. So this is obviously a bit silly, but it's really nice if you're taking measurements, especially over a long distance. Or what was really useful is when I was aligning the hulls, taking measurements like this across them. Um, so you can see it makes a little laser, and then I can make sure the hulls are exactly parallel to each other and at the same height. Um, and that they weren't, one wasn't advanced in front of the other, so that took a really long time to make sure the two hulls were aligned before I joined them together. And this was really useful as well uh, for that. And then in the same vein, I have this laser level. So this just makes a level line all throughout the boatyard. It's blinking right now because I'm not holding it level enough, maybe if I. There we go. So it blinks if you're not level, and then normally you have it on a tripod and it makes a nice le level line. So when you're lining things up, um, that's really useful to have. Um, what else do I have here? We got some, this is the mixing stick that I made, but what's special about it is that I made it on my 3D printer, which is quite nice to just make disposable um, things that kind of single use or things that you have to use a lot of because it's really cheap to make on a 3D printer. You can make custom shapes. I can do this diameter specifically to the fillet that I want to do. Um, and sometimes I mock up angles and things like that. Uh, so that's really useful in the 3D printer. Um, I also have my digital scale here in a dirty plastic bag. That's really useful for measuring up the epoxy so we know it's exactly at the right ratio because that's really important to get right. Otherwise it won't cure pop properly. Um, and yeah, and then at home I have a CNC router that I built. Um, I've made a couple videos explaining how I did that. Um, so go check those out. And I have the 3D printer as well, which comes in handy. And yeah, other than that, mostly just uh, hard work. Ah, yeah. And then if you're wondering, if you're wondering, like, what is this weird material, green material that I'm using, um, or any kind of things that I use to build this boat, check out the video that I made on what materials I use. Do you have any questions or do you have any suggestions? I hear a lot. I've been hearing a lot recently that the Milwaukee brand of tools is something I should check out, or if you really like rather battery powered tools rather than the corded ones or any kind of tool related stuff, hit me up in the comments and uh, let's have a discussion about it.